What is up YouTube? James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2018 Back to Back Battles. Today we are using the Mega Scissor team once again with Polytoad, Ludicolo, Mega Scissor, Landers Faring, Tornadus, and Tornadus Incarnate Form, and Tapu Coco. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, you missed a lot. We finally, finally got some KOs with Tornadus. Tornadus putting in some work. If you haven't checked out the last episode, highly recommend go checking it out. But let's get started and play some games. So... Hopefully we can bring Tornadus at least one more time and it being able to get some chaos. But we finally, finally brought Tornadus. We finally did. So let's see how this is going to go. As I'm really hoping that Tornadus is going to be able to pull in some work. I really wanted to. 1674 rated player from Japan as our first opponent of the day. Bring the team of Landis Varian, Volcarona, Tyranitar, Tapu Kogo, Kartana, and Gengar. Really kind of offensive, fast-paced team. Not a big fan of facing these. Okay. I like Landers as a lead a lot. It's weird. I actually like Landers Tornadus as a lead. Because I think uh, I'm not going to sweep with Tornadus in this game. But I think I could easily just get like Tailwind up. And Tailwind can destroy my opponent's team. But you know what? Palito Ludicolo will be in the back because I don't want to deal with that Tyranitar right away. Have uh, Tornadus and Landers on the front benches today. So I don't really like Scizor in this matchup. Volcarona is a bit of a pain. Cartana is going to be a pain to deal with. Coco as well as Landers. So, and I need to boost up to beat the Gengar and Tyranitar. So I don't feel like it's the best play to bring Scizor. Coco, it outspeeds my opponent's team, I guess. But I don't think it gets any knockouts other than Gengar and Cartana. Because I don't think Life Orb Thunder knocks out uh, Volcarona. And Tornadus could actually knock out Volcarona. It can knock out Cartana. Ooh. He can actually pick up some knockouts, which could be really nice here. We'll find out. My bone's team. I wonder what the main way to handle Landers is. Because my bone doesn't look like I have a great way to deal with Landers right off the bat. But we'll see here. Oh, I was trying to figure out what the music is, and I'm like, oh. I'm like, why is it? It sounds so quiet to me. I don't know. Definitely sounds quite quiet. Alright. Tornadus Landorus is going to lead here. And double genies. This reminds me of 2013. I saw this lead a lot in 2013. Volcarona plus Gengar is going to lead here. You don't know what I, whether I'm Scarf or not, which is amazing here. The problem is Mega Gengar can trap me in and I could be locked in a Tailwind, I guess. That could be a bad issue. Hmm. I think it could be Scarf Volcarona on this team. Well, you wouldn't HP Ice turn one, would you? Ah, uh, this is hard because this team variant is really tricky to handle. I think I'm going to go for the Hurricane into Gengar and switch on to Poly into Ludicolo. Oh, this might not be the play. We'll find out. Where's he? Volcarona. Oh, wait. I was supposed to go Polytoad to boost my rain. Okay. Well, that's not good. Landers comes in. Oh man, I, I'm about to get trapped in, and I should have brought Polytoad. Ludicolo's in a terrible position against the Gengar. Because you're 100% going for Protect here. If you don't go for Protect here, I don't know what's up. <laughs> you know Tailwind what? Oh. I see Wind. It. It. Tornadus. Come through! Okay. Show me a knockout. Okay. Not bad. I see wind. I would have knocked you out with Earthquake Turn. I guess you don't expect Band on this team, but still. I'm gonna fake out Hurricane the uh, Landers. If you switch out Gengar, fear. Like, you're either going to take the risk with Gengar, or you're going to switch out. And I don't feel like turning down the Gengar is necessary right here. Because it's in range, and Rock Slide just kind of beats down my opponent's team here. So I'll go for the Fake Out into Landers and try to get a Hurricane off. 
Gets the sludge bomb off, which is alright. Actually, I don't like uh, my matchup against a Icy Wing Gengar with my lander, so this could go bad. I'm hitting all these hurricanes out of. Uh, <laughs> I'm hitting all these hurricanes though, which is amazing. So I'm gonna go Polytoad here since I am worried about my opponent and the landers. Do you not have Tyranitar in the back? Or if you are, if you do have Tyranitar, are you scared of bringing it out? I think if we're going to switch out anything, it would be the Gengar slot. I'm just going to scald the Gengar and Hurricane the Landers. I think if anything, you're going to switch out the Gengar. Maybe you bring out Tyranitar now, but I, I don't... Ah, you're risking a lot here. And you get it off. Hmm, okay. Ah, oh, man, Tornadus almost got the KO on Mega Gengar. Rock slide. Oh, don't flinch me. Don't flinch me. Good. Alright. I can't tell what kind of lander that is, though, right off the bat. It, well, I know it's not Scarf, at least, because it underspent Gengar. Volcarona gonna come out. I see one on the Gengar. I think Landers does live that, too, and I could have Tailwind Earthquake turn one. Mmm. That's upsetting. Because that would have got me a lot of momentum. <sighs> but really don't play to go into Ludicolo. I should win Politoed. I guess we're going to find out what kind of uh, thing my opponent is. It is Scarf HPI, so it was what I expected. Or at least it's HPIs. Yeah, I think it's Scarf. You turn here? Knock off. Okay. I think that still loses me the game too. So Scald gonna go out into the Landorus, gonna pick up the knockout. Is there a Pokemon that I can win against? I don't think there is. I wonder if that Tyranitar is in the back, and the reason my opponent didn't want to switch out was because they were worried about the War type move. No, it was Carton in the back. Wow, my opponent didn't even bring Tyranitar. Oh And that's going to be good game to my opponent. So, going to take a quick loss here. Mmm. I didn't even have to scald the Volker and I should have scald the Carton. Well, it doesn't matter. I can't. You're just going to leave play and knock me out. So, it was the only Volker runner that really carries HP is his Scarf. Maybe it's Specs. I think it's Scarf. I think it's Scarf Volcarona. Actually, wait, what? Are you Specs Volcarona? I can't tell anymore. My game plan was really weird, but... Mmm... Icy Wind was un was unexpe unexpected, and also the... Because I was worried about, like... Okay, I was worried about, like, you staying in, and then, like, Disables happening. That could have been a problem. Like, I was really worried about, like, the Disables, but then I realized I could just Tailwind. I was worried about the Scarf HP Ice going out into my Lander's turn one. And the, t and then I uh, go for Talon, right? I go for Talon with my uh, Tornadus, but this is the problem with the Specs Tornadus. Uh, the HPI, if my opponent went for HPI there, since I did kind of suspect it was Scarf Volcarona, because I know uh, Japan likes to use Scarf Volcarona sometimes. Like if you go for the HPI, it's not on my Landers, and then you have Gengar out. You, I'm trapped in with Tornadus with. Tailwind, and then I have to get either Politoed or Ludicolo out, and Ludicolo out of rain is a lot less threatening, and then you trap me, you have your Cartana out. Although my opponent doesn't know I'm I'm Specs, you probably assume it if I go for the Tailwind the second turn, so I was in a rough spot no matter what. I couldn't see, man, I just didn't want the worst case to happen as we find our second opponent, but then I realized you're probably not going to HP Ice turn one when there's a potential, but... I was worried about HP I shot a ball because I think that could have knocked me out. Alright, hard trick room. Hard trick room. This was actually really good in this. Scissors against good against three mons and weird against the others. So Coco's not that great here. 
Tornadus is not that great. Well, it can be if Stack Attacker wasn't a thing on this team. I think I'm going to go, what? I think I'll go Scizor Ludicolo with Politoed and Landers in the back. I think that's the most solid options that I have here. It's going to be hard because there's going to be one in Incineroar. I don't think I can stop Trick Room, but I feel like I could stall it out. The weird thing is if you bring uh, the Bruxious, which has the ability to prevent priority. I forgot what the specific ability is called at the moment. And then you got... Um, yeah, because I'm worried next to Aromatis, which I can't taunt. Well, I don't have taunt on this team. But preventing priority is pretty big because my main ways to handle it. Yeah, there's a buck shoot. Okay. Here's my question. I would switch out Bruxish into Torkoal. Well, actually... Does that change anything? Not really. I'm worried about Psychic Fangs and the Ludicolo. I think I'm going to Bug Bite and Hydra Vortex turn one. Ah, this is some weird turn. Because I feel like you could go into Torkoal for the Buckshot. Because you're not going to expect me to double... You expect you're not going to expect me to fake out. But maybe you don't... You think I don't know the ability. So you could just stay in just to be safe here. Uh, oh, that's annoying too. Okay, but that means the thing stays in for a turn, which is not the worst case, I guess. I am kind of worried though. The things I'm worried about are this Aromantis with Sunny Day and Heal Pulse potentially. That is going to be frustrating. Ally Switch did catch me off guard though. I wish I SD'd instead, but I didn't want to SD because if it was Choice Band Bruxish, I was really worried about that Choice Band, potentially. I don't think it's Choice Band, at least. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, you've got to be kidding me. Eject button. <laughs> oh, what the heck is going on? Okay, I'm going to bug bite. I at least probably get a berry, or maybe it's goggles, or let's see what it is. It's a berry, okay. And chicken goes up. I don't know if you're Sunny Day or not. I think you are Sunny Day on this team. I'm still going to go Politoed anyway, because I kind of need to. And I'm just going to fire off a Hydro Pump into the Torkoal, because Hydro Pump's still going to do a good amount. Ah, oh, dealing with this team is going to be a pain. If Bullet Punch knocked out Aromatis, I would be confident, but that's kind of why I want to Hydro Vortex, because I got a Bullet Punch and then went into Polytoad afterward, and then I really was going to be smooth sailing, but the Ally Switch Eject Button combination made it so difficult. Like, what? That's the first time I've seen it. Alright. I mean, I did know the thing got Ally Switch, but I didn't think it'd be Ally Switch Eject Button. Alright. This is our retreat into Politoed. You're probably going to Sunny Day here. I wonder if you would protect the Torkoal here. Not sure. Eruption's going to come out. Okay, that's not going to do too much. Yeah, that did nothing. It is Sunny Day, though. Oh. <sighs> Maybe I should Giga Drain debruct. No, I think I Hydro Pump. Because I weaken the power of Torkoal. Yeah, th that's good damage. Actually, I don't think I'm in the bad spot because Skull, because Torkoal is forced to like Heat Wave and you can Heal Pulse, but it's two Skulls and it, a Skull and a Hydro Pump will still knock out Torkoal anyway, regardless. So I don't feel too bad here. What's the damage output though on that Torkoal right now? Because even in the rain, Torkoal Blues just should, I think should have done a bit more. All right, Aromatis is going to retreat here into the Lorantis. Oh, that means Torko's probably protecting here. Z move. That's going to Ludicolo. Okay, but we know all of my opponent's Pokemon now, and this is actually pretty good for me because I doubled up the Torko slab because if he heal pulsed, I got the knockout no matter what. I did not expect to switch into Lorantis, but this works out because if I get rid of Torko, my Scizor wins the game. 
Tell me, where's your scissor resist? Unless you're HP fire Lorantis. But I feel like you're physical Lorantis. Because that's the thing that's becoming the most common right now. And you don't have many physical attackers. Well, yeah, Buck. Fix. You got, uh, Sack Attack. Uh, ooh, this could be tough, but I feel like you would, I don't know, with Incineroar around a lot? Let's see. Gonna bring out Scizor. Aromatis is gonna come out. Should I just help me on Bug Bite? Or should I just protect Bug Bite? If you have a Hidden Power of Fire, like, there's nothing I can do. Because I can't switch out Landris because it will give this thing a boost in its attack. If it is a physical variant. If it's, well, it should be contrary no matter what. Charm. Okay. Charm superpower? Yeah. Should have helped me hand it. Oh, that did a lot. It's life orb, that's why. Mmm. Okay. Going on in my Landris. I'm 100% going on in my Landris here. Wow, what the heck? Charm. Charm, sunny day. Trick room. You don't know the last move. Maybe protect. Heal pulse. Oh, heal pulse is going to be annoying. And I can't lock myself into earthquake. Oh, I wish I had like some kind of explosion or something. <laughs> explosion would help right here. Alright. Get Landris in. Oh, wow, this Aromatis is cool. Because you can charm your own Pokemon here. And get the attack boost with Florantis. And you have a mode for the Torkoal. Oh. Yeah, that... This is, uh... This is gonna be hurtful. Superpower into the Politoed, though. That works. That works. Gonna go scissor here. I really wish I helping hand. Because helping hand would have helping hand bug bite would have KO'd. I mean not KO'd, but put the Lorantis into a bullet punch range. And then the game would have been a hundred percent mine, I think. I think I'm gonna U-turn and bullet punch the Aromatis, because I think it should be able to knock out Aromatis, and I think Lorantis is forced to protect. Ooh, I think it comes down to mind game. It really comes down to a mind game. Let's see here. Lorantis protects, okay. There's no switch into Buckshix or anything, but then again, I don't think you want to give up the Lorantis that's already boosted. So, Bullet Punch. Please, Bullet Punch, you turn knock it out. Oh, Bullet Punch actually just knocks it out. Okay. You turn into Lorantis. Sun fades. Okay. I guess it didn't matter because Bullet Punch actually knocked out the Aromatis, which I was not expecting. Wow. I thought it'd be bulkier than that. But that means uh U turn, banded U turn, I think knocks out Lorantis. Even if it's at plus two, I think it would still knock out. Bug bite Lorantis, U turn Buck Shicks. I get a KO either way, and Lorantis can't KO both my Pokemon at the same time. So even if you ally switch, it doesn't really matter at this point. And if you don't ally switch, I'm pretty sure I just outspeed and knock out both your Pokemon. So choose your poison. Ally switch gonna come out. Banded U turn. I think banded U turn knocks it out. We'll see. If it's if it didn't, uh, if my opponent actually attacked, it could have mattered. But yeah, it does knock out the Lorantis. So Lorantis goes down, and Bug Bite will be able to finish off the Buckshix. And we just won a really scary game. That game was terrifying. The game was absolutely terrifying. All right. So able to pick up a win there. Oh my! <laughs> that was such a terrifying battle. That Aromatis, that Ruxius, everything put in work against me, except the Torkoal. So it was Fireum, okay. Alright. 
Yeah, my opponent made some really good plays overall, but luckily I was just able to put myself in the position. I do regret not going for the uh, Helping Hand Bug Bite, though. That was like the only play I regret not going for, because I think that could have just secured the game 100%. Well, I had the game was secured 100% apparently anyway, but like just in case like bullet punch didn't knock out, I think it was the best case was to uh, go for helping hand. As we find our second opponent, no third opponent, 1776 rated player from Japan. I faced this guy. I remember this team. Okay, so you want to know what my opponent is? Belly drum protects Norlax with return high horsepower. Psych up Rock Slide and Mega Mawile. Don't even get me started on that. AV Landers, Ally Switch, Cresselia. Ah, this is going to be a pain. Going to be a pain. I'm going to go Coco Scizor again with Landers and Politoed in the back. Because this helps against the Charge on matchup and... Oh, you don't know how much of a pain this is going to be. Oh, uh, wait. Wild Pokemon music? Okay. Oh, uh, I remember. I don't remember if I'm... No, I think I lost. I might... Did I win? I think I lost. I'm pretty sure I lost. Alright, so Scizor top of Coco. Snorlax Cresselia is going to lead here. I don't care. Uh, my my opponent's turn one play was switching to Landris, and uh, I think he double switched actually. But I don't care. If my opponent goes for that this turn. I'm not letting Snorlax set up. Voltwitch Bug Bite will fin will uh, prevent the Snorlax from being able to set up. So I will 100% go for that play. I will go for the same turn one play. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not letting that Snorlax get set up. Priscilla retreats here. Going to go out into the Landris here. So you're not. Protecting with your Snorlax. I mean, you're not... Okay, either Snorlax switches out or protects here. Okay. It stays in, so it either protects or attacks here. Either way, this is good. This is good. Because I'm pressuring a lot here. You protect, but I can uh, switch out next turn. Okay. And you weren't Scarf Landers, so you were AB. Okay. I think I'm just going to Swords Dance with Scizor and just Volt Switch out the Snorlax. Because I want Scizor because you're going to switch out Snorlax. What's coming out? It's the Cresselia once again, which is alright. And I'm going to be able to get a Volt Switch off. Go into my Landorus on the Earthquake here. Unless you're going to knock off my Top of Coco right off the bat, which is definitely a play you could go for. But I don't think I would mind that too much. So let's see what's gonna come out here. I'm gonna bring out my Landris. And what's coming out? Earthquake, okay. Hmm. So I'm gonna get a sword stance up, so I'm gonna be at Plus one. I threaten a bug bite onto the lander slot because landers might want to switch out here. Also going to U-turn the landers too. Because I don't want to activate Cresselia's berry. I'll I switch. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> that actually works amazing for me because I get rid of Cress. Oh, you expected to bug bite into the Cresselia slot. I don't feel like I had a reason to target down Cresselia. Like, yes, I could have. But I felt like I didn't have to handle the Cresselia right away. Because I don't think Trick Room really helps that much right now. So I feel like I'm in an okay spot. I'll bring out Politoed here. I'm not bringing out my uh, Landers here. I don't care if you knock off my Barry. My Barry's not too important in this matchup anyway. So let's see what's going to go on. Knock off, U turn, U turn, okay. So. Mawile? I want to say Mawile? 
if I remember correctly, the Mawa was Rock Slide, Psych Up, Protect, and I, mean, I never saw the last move. I'm guessing it was Play Rough or Iron Head. I'm pretty sure it would have been Play Rough. Actually, no, I think it would be Iron Head. Yeah, Mawa comes out. I'm going to be able to eat this berry from the Cresselia. Well, it didn't have a berry. Unfortunate. But it's alright here. Uh, my Scizor is at neutral currently, but Landris coming in would make it minus one. If Snorlax comes in, I, I feel like I just bug bite that thing. So I'm in a pretty good spot right here because I got rid of my opponent's main Trick Room Mon. Snorlax is going to come out, okay. Not really too worried about the Snorlax. I think I'm just going to scald them all on Sword Stance. Because I don't feel like you should have a way to knock out Scizor. Well, with your moveset. Yeah, and Snorlax is going to protect too, which is excellent for me. Because now I have my Scizor boosted once again. Unless you're going to psych up my Scizor. I'm pretty sure this was the psych up guy. Because he's playing the exact same way we were doing earlier, except first turn he switched on to Landers. Uh, Rock Slide's just going to come out, alright. Uh, I think Bug Bite and Skull should knock out a Landers, but the combination of Bullet Punch, I'm just going to go for the double up in the Snorlax anyway. Because right here, I'm looking at either my Landers that can win the game. Oh, he did have Sucker Punch, what? Wow. Okay. Plus two bug bite. Doesn't knock out Snorlax, but I get my figgy berry. <laughs> oh, I, this is like the one good thing about Scizor. Even if you don't run Roost, you can get recovery with so many berries in the format. We do knock out Snorlax. My Landers is looking amazing for the end game here. Yeah, like Landers is actually looking so good for this end game. Landers is going to come out. I wonder how much LBM yeah, Bullet Punch does. Because your only out might be the Rock Slide. But that won't knock out my Scizor. So I think I'm going to Helping Hand Bullet Punch my uh, opponent's Mawal. Because if I can knock out Mawal, I'm not really too worried. As the match is going to be forfeited. Uh, so I get revenge against a grudge match. Because uh, the... Psycho Mawal. Well, the Mawa didn't beat me. It was the Snorlax. The Snorlax plus uh, Ally Switch Cresselia. That's what beat me originally. But able to c pick up another win. Oh, man. You should have seen the first game. I wish I recorded that game because that game was like... I had so... I was like... I was like... When I saw the Ally Switch on the... Not the not the Ally Switch. The... The Psych Up on the Mawa. And my opponent led the same thing, except turn one, he double switched, he switched out Crest and the Mawa, he's, and then uh, switched out uh, the Snorlax and the Landers. Later in the game, he revealed Protect on the Snorlax, like he immediately protected Snorlax, was able to get himself in a good position with Trick Room, and then I was like, okay, you probably don't have high horsepower, you don't have Recycle. It was, unfortunately, I guessed it wrong, it had high horsepower, so it wasn't Recycle, and then the game kind of went downhill from there. But luckily... Able to come through. I was just gonna try myself, try to put myself in a position where I don't allow my opponent to set up with the Snorlax. I'm always gonna bug bite something so I can try to eat that berry if I can help it. But yeah, I hope that everyone enjoyed today's episode of VGC 2018 Back to Battles. Though, if you did, please leave a like down below, share your support, as well as you can check out the rest of my stuff down below, such as my social medias, the previous episodes of VGC 2018 Back to Battles, the side series on the channel, and the placement of this team. If you do want to go try it out. As always, feel free to leave a comment down below and leave a like to show your support for the video. And I think that's going to be pretty much it. Have a great day, people. And until we battle again, I'll catch you all later.